If you've been watching my channel for long, you know that my family and I love going camping. And often when we're camping, the kids are digging in the dirt and we bring shovels and tools for them to do that and they love doing it. Now, one thing that would really add to that is if they had a metal detector so that they could be searching the campsite and potentially be finding where they need to be digging to find treasures in the ground. So when Dr. Otek reached out to us and offered a kid's metal detector here, as well as one for adults, I took them up on their offer to review these products and then we're gonna try them out here on this camping trip. So first what I'm gonna do is assemble these and then we'll introduce this kid one to the kids and see how easy it is for them to operate. First off, they said that this is very easy to assemble and so I'm gonna go ahead and do the kids one first and see how easy it is to assemble. And it did come with instructions as well. By the way, right now we are camping up Pacing Canyon in some boondocking or dispersed camping area. And I will put a card above to this video when it's published of this camping trip. First off, it has the, the main handle. It has some plastic on the end and there's a plate right here. And the way that this is supposed to be used is you hold it here and then that plate is on the bottom of your wrist to help support the weight. And then this over here, of course, these can need to connect together and they've got some wires there. So I'm just gonna put those wires in, do that. And I haven't even read the instructions yet. And yet this is pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. And then over here, this is loose. You can see how that pivots. So I'm gonna spin this around, put it like that, and then capture the whole thing. By the way, Jessica, my wife is the camera operator today. So thanks Jessica. So I'm gonna get this about like that because that's the roughly the orientation the kids are gonna be holding this. But note that this does telescope in and out so that depending on the, how tall your child is, it can go up higher or down lower. So our kids are pretty short, but we'll adjust it once they start to use it. So I'm gonna tighten this here and that's it. That's, oh, and actually this right here needs to get tightened. There we go. And that can still be moved a little bit. This isn't gonna have a lot of tension on it because they're just hovering over the ground with it. So for now, that's that. It does have a battery compartment here on the bottom and it looks like it uses a nine volt battery. And, oh, it looks like it came with one, excellent. Because we're camping right now, we don't have nine volt batteries here, here with us. Battery was well packaged. So we'll pop that on there. And then put that in just like that. Okay. And then in this bag, there's also the manual, the user manual. And then also we have here, oh, that's fun. They came with a digging spade. The kids are gonna love this. They, they like digging anyway, regardless of metal detectors. And it has a measuring depth measure there, goes up to four inches. So that's fun. And then here is a sifting pan where you can put dirt in it and then shake it and sift out the, the loose sand or dirt in it. And the kids love these. They already have a bunch of these or variations of this. So that's everything that comes in the kids kit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unbox the bigger metal detector and assemble it. And then we'll go introduce this kids one to the kids and also take this adult one and we'll go experiment with it. So to unbox the bigger one, it has some stickers here and a guide and it has the nine volt battery there for it as well. This is the sensing plate here and has some kind of connection there that I am personally not familiar with. Okay, so this is a bag for carrying it around, and transporting it, storing it. And then here we have the instrument panel, and then we have, oh, these are headphones, so that you can be listening to the, the ping sounds. And these headphones are just regular 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so that's nothing proprietary about that. That's nice that it comes with headphones. This is the support, so you put this on your arm and it helps you hold it like this. So it has an adjustment knob here on the bottom. And then this is a digging tool that came with it as well. That's fun, okay. So they've got a rubber protector here on the edge of it. I'm gonna pull that off. So they've got a serrated trowel kind of knife thing. <laughs> and it also measures on the bottom, goes up to six inches deep. It's a really unique shape. I'm not used to seeing that, but you could dig with it or saw away at things, I guess. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep working on getting this assembled and then we'll go try it out. Okay, so just, I haven't read the instructions yet on how to do this. I'm just seeing if I can figure it out. So this right here was zip tied up here. And I brought that around to the back and it looks like it lines up with those notches pretty nicely. And then that would make more sense for how it ties in back here. But I have first have to unscrew this knob and the back plate comes off and then I can line it up. So there are three adjustment holes here and this screw in the middle needs to align with one of them. I'm just gonna start in the middle and then depending on Jessica's and I 
or arm lengths, I will move it as needed in the future. Something to note as well is this is where you put your arm through and you can you know, strap this onto your arm if you wanted to. But it also has these two points on the bottom that I guess when you're not using it, you can set it down and it's got a platform to rest on. Here's a demonstration. If you lay it on the ground, it has that support there on the back to keep it all up and uh, level. So now here's the main pole that goes down to the base and I can already see that this right here needs to go into that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It has on here two rubber grommets. So I'm gonna make sure those stay on it and then I'm gonna pass those in there and then put this through that hole, put the nut back on. So this is so far a really simple assembly, not quite as simple as the kids metal detector, but they're both really quite simple. So on this metal bar here, uh, it has up here says lock on here. So I'm gonna loosen this up nicely and then press in on these two points. I'm gonna unscrew this so that it's up above and now you can see what's going on. So I'm gonna push these in, push that in. Now it goes all the way in and you can see that it will align there. So now we can lock it and I'm gonna bring this back down. And then at the other end, we will do the same thing. And with these, I'm not sure how long we're gonna want these as well. So we'll, we'll figure it out in just a second, but it's clearly very adjustable, so we don't have to get it perfect right now. And then this cable comes up to the display. And this display has two screws on the bottom as well. So after I unscrew both of these all the way, and they are a little bit long, now I'm going to put this here, this display pointing up towards the operator on top of these two holes here on the bottom put these bolts back in and then this cord you can see needs to go in right here and it has plenty of excess so what we're going to do is just kind of wrap it around so that it stays out of the way and now it's the perfect length to go in to that port right there oh and it has top on the plug so i'm going to align that top with the top here per perfect all right so now we need to put in the battery. So it has a battery compartment here on the underside of the, the display. So that just pre-press in and slide to the side. There we go. All right, so we're fully assembled. I'm gonna peel off this protective film. There's a sticker right here and it says protective film is removable. The actual protective film is across the entire display, not just that sticker. So if you can grab the edge here, then you can peel back and it takes off everything. I'm going to now look at the manual briefly just to make sure I know what to listen for when I have the headphones plugged in. So speaking of the headphones, I need to plug these in. So looking at the bottom here, there is a port right there. So this is the headphone port and over here is the port for the actual detector at the bottom and that's really all there is to it. Their instructional manual is actually pretty thorough and good. You can see here on buttons, it's indicating what all of the buttons do. And then down here, it shows the various icons on the display and what they mean. And then here is an indication of the numbers on the screen and what that might mean. Jessica is going to use a ring she had on her hand <laughs> and drop it just there on the dirt and we're gonna test the metal detector finding it. We're not gonna bury it, but it's just right there on the ground. So I'm gonna turn on the metal detector for the first time and see how quickly and easily it works. By the way, I forgot to mention with these headphones, they are extendable about half an inch on both sides. And it's about perfect, fully extended for me. And also here on the headphones, there is a volume control knob so that you can control it on the display as well as directly on the headphones themselves. The strap has this loop on the back and I think it's just supposed to stop like that because the strap is not actually long enough to go all the way through it and it doesn't really need to because it's Velcro so I can just put it across my arm like that. If I'm standing here like this, I'm putting it down, that looks about perfect. So right here, there's a power button, so I'm gonna press that and I heard it beep. I'm just gonna go over her ring, see if I start to hear it beeping. I can hear it beeping. If you look here, it has an icon that says a, it looks like a bottle cap and a nail. And when I, when I swing it over her ring, that icon starts to blink. So it's indicating roughly what it thinks it is. And then over here, it's also blinking the coin icon. And then over here, it shows the depth. So it's saying that it's two to four inches deep. But if I raise the sensor off of the ground higher, then that depth number increases. So that definitely comes into play. If I put it right over it, it's like an inch above it, that's where it's just showing the, the two inches of depth right there. We're getting a pretty quick indication here of how this device works, and I'm going to go reveal the kids one to the kids now, and we'll experiment with these. We're gonna go take them down to the Payson Lakes and experiment with them there on a beach area. The kids are gonna be so excited. Hey kids, 
Look what I have. Do you know what this is? It is. Do you want to try it out? Yeah. So we're turning this kids one on for the first time. Go ahead and push the power button, Lucy. Uh, press and hold it. There you go. I think there might be a screen protector on here as well. I haven't taken off. There we go, I got it. Now that's more clear. So on this metal detector, you can see that it's showing a, a dog, I think. And then there's some bones going up and down. So that's the dog that's seeking the bones, right? Yeah. So now, and then on the left, it has the battery indicator. So put this metal detector down to the ground and you'll note behind your wrist, Lucy, that there's a support plate here to support it. And then you're holding it, okay? Now, what you wanna do is put the metal detector down to the ground and you want the plate, the sensing plate, you want it to be even with the ground, okay? And then also, I'm gonna lift this up a little bit and I'm gonna extend this out for you. Let's see how that looks. All right, that looks about right. So what you wanna do is be sweeping it back and forth across the ground, just over the surface. Oh, do you hear that? So there's something right there. So Lucy found something here, we don't know what. And this came with a trowel and a sifting plate. And go ahead and dig right there and see what we can find. So after a bit of digging, uh, we haven't found anything yet and we decided let's just go to the Payson Lakes and then we'll continue digging and searching there and see how well it works. We are here at Box Lake, is one of the Payson Lakes up at Payson Canyon. So Lydia, go ahead and turn on the metal detector. There you go. And now she's going to just start passing it back and forth across the beach. And right there, you might see it, there's a red... Yep, there's a, it looks like a pop lid. And it's definitely detecting that. And this is exactly where that was. We didn't touch it before filming. But yeah, that's just a basic lid for a pop bottle. They're gonna keep combing this beach and see what else they can find. And as an aside, you can see we have the All Powers Portable Power Station over there charging up their e-bikes right now. And there is a trail that goes around the entirety of this lake. I found something. Seems like something in that plant. And keep in mind, girls, it might be a few inches deep. It doesn't have to be right on the surface. Is that it? Oh, you found it. But there's... What is it, Lucy? Soda can. Oh, soda can lid popper. And then over here, Jessica is using the adult metal detector. But because she's using headphones, we can't really hear if she's getting any beeps. So, Jess, did you find something? Car is sticking. So it is beeping for that spot. Oh, well, that's what you're finding. There's a whole pile of nails right there. What? <laughs> no, right here. You already dug up all the nails. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. I said I was looking for nails. Put that in our pile. <laughs> that's actually kind of hilarious that there's like a whole pile of rusted nails right in that one that's spot. Right. I wish there was some like soft pad nails right here. For the bottom side of yeah. your wrist? I guess that's more on your forearm, huh? Yeah. Look at all these nails. Did you find a, a lot? Oh, wow. Yeah, you guys have found a lot of nails. <laughs> so another feature of this adult metal detector is that it is waterproof in the lower half. The instrument panel is not, but the bottom detecting part and the stem is. So Jessica's going to start detecting in the water there for a little bit. We're not really dressed appropriately to like wade out into the water, but she's going to pass the tip down in there and see if we can find anything that's out in the water. She hasn't found anything yet. I went ahead and shortened it so that you can see how well the adult one can work for kids. And it's actually a pretty good length for her, but it is overall heavier. So she's still just scanning the beach, seeing if she can find anything. We found lots of things over here. You did? We yeah. found like three of these little pig things. Tacks. Tacks, Tacks? okay. And, and there's two more. I think they're finding hazards more than it's treasures. Oh, is it? You know what? I think I see it. This is a weight. It's a lure weight. So this is made out of lead. And so that's why it would have found it. Good job, Clara. I think it's safe to say that these metal detectors could provide hours of entertainment for the kids. <laughs> Lydia, that's not how it works. <laughs> you know, actually, I think that using the metal detector in this little spot is more of a sad commentary on how trashy this spot is with all the nails and you know, weights and beer bottle lids and stuff. But the kids are having fun finding it. Lucy is now having a go at the adult metal detector and she's left-handed, so we're gonna go around here to this side. I wanted to demonstrate here, not only does it have these indicators across the top, but it also has these sensing modes along the side. So you have AM there, DISC, memory, 
and jewelry is the last one. So we're just gonna leave it at A&M for now and see what she can find. Yeah, good call, Lucy. We wanna make sure that's parallel to the ground like that. This is the bag that came with the adult metal detector and we were able to fit both the adult metal detector and the kids in this bag. We did do a little bit of disassembly, but they fit and they're just fine. And we also have in there all of the other tools that came with them. So you can have a whole kit there for an adult and a child, maybe even more in there because it's obviously not completely full. Now that we've had a chance to be using the metal detectors for, I don't know, last hour or so, what does everyone think of them? I love them. Yeah? I wish the little one didn't beep so much. The little one has a lot of false positives and just sometimes will beep when you're holding it up in the air. So in those cases, we have just turned it off, turned it back on and it's better behaved, but it does still beep more. The, it's more reliable on the, the adult one. Any other thoughts on it, girls? No. No. Or Jessica? Mm, it's fun. It's a fun toy to play with and it's also a tool. If you lose something, you could definitely legitimately find it with this, assuming it's metal, of course. Uh, but it's just fun to, to comb areas. In this case, we're finding a lot of fishing related paraphernalia for obvious reasons, because people fish from here primarily. And we will continue to use these in varied locations as we're camping, and we'll use them at our campsites, as well as various destinations we go to, maybe beaches and whatnot, and see what other things we can find. If you are interested in picking up a metal detector for yourself, I will include links in the description below that will give you 10% off of your own Dr. Otek metal detectors. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.